Hey guys, welcome back to another travel journal with me video where we fill in some pages, uh, share some travel experiences and give you some tips. So today I want to show you how I created this page and do that in combination with some inspiration I found on Instagram and Pinterest uh, and mix those two together and make something new. So first of all, I want to give you another tip on getting your pictures the right size and maybe your layout done in advance before starting. So you put everything on a page that is the same size of your travel journal. And then you lay out all your photos, you get them in the right size, put them on an A4 sheet, print them out, and then bada bing bada boom, you have um, all your photos in the right size and maybe even already in the right uh, spot. So you know your layout already. So now I have my pictures printed. Uh, I'm gonna lay them out again the way I put them down on uh, the computer and we'll go from there. All right, I know it looks very simple now, but we're gonna add that Polaroid effect that you saw in those, uh, those inspo pics. And we're gonna add some shading and some writing. So it's gonna be really fun when we're done with it. Um, so all these pics are from my time in Tulum, Mexico with Robin. Uh, we had an amazing time, uh, just the boho vibes, all those huts and cabins. I mean, so cute, beautiful beaches. But I mean, oh yeah, food, 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 tacos, tacos upon tacos. But our favorite is really the cenotes. They were so beautiful and so magical with the clear blue water and we were in love. I mean, cenotes are beautiful, right? And they're so much fun to just hang out and um, yeah, just enjoy your time there. So we loved, loved exploring all the uh, cenotes in Tulum. So now I'm going to add the frames around all the pictures. So make sure you leave a space at the bottom so it has that Polaroid effect and that you can add text later. Um, as you can see, I am not using uh, a ruler or anything like that. I'm being quite messy actually. Like I messed up a bunch of the lines where I'm like, oh, that didn't go exactly straight, but it's fine because we're gonna add shading and um, more details after. So it doesn't really matter. Um, you can just be quite rough with it um, and uh, it will look perfect in the end. One of our favorite activities was an Airbnb experience that we booked uh, with a local photographer. This is not sponsored, by the way, uh, but she made us feel so good. And she showed us all these amazing spots in Tulum. And all the while, uh, we got great photos and it was just so fun to have pictures of us together. And um, yeah, we had tacos with her. She. Uh, treated us to some beers and we went to a party after. I mean, it was so much fun. It felt like we made some friends there in Tulum. So I can definitely recommend doing something like that. Um, while we were in Tulum, we still had to work um, because I think we were there in December. So that is actually one of the more busy times for us. Um, and I also worked for a uh, client of mine uh, at that time. So I had some work for them as well. So we just made sure that we did that early in the day. Um, and then we had that out of the way so that we can get back to exploring. Here you can see that I've added a bunch of shading to the Polaroid uh, frames. Um, by just making the right side and the bottom side uh, thicker with my pen. 
Um, it doesn't have to be neat again. I mean, you're drawing it by hand, so it's fine. It's okay to look a little bit messy. And now I'm going to take a gray pencil and just add another layer of shadow uh, on the right and bottom side um, to give to make it pop a little bit more to get jump off the page. Um, you can't really see it that well on the page, but it looks really good in real life and just try it out, I'd say. Adding in the Mexican flag. I'm doing it with pencil this time because I feel like it works just as well and you don't have to worry about bleeding through the, the page. Um, I saw so many great uh, inspo pics of um, Polaroid inspired uh, journal pages and here are a couple that I really liked. So um, adding Polaroids to a like a clothing line I suppose you could say and you could even add more Polaroids to that line once you visited more of that country, a linear way, or you can do tiles like on the picture on the right uh, and add some details about that picture and maybe add more later. I think these are really fun because uh, it gives the page a theme and some structure and uh, yeah, it's just a really easy method to make something look really fun. All right, now for every picture, I'm gonna write down some little bit of information, what that picture is about or what the experience was about or just a specific little detail uh, that I would like to um, remember. So, I mean, basically you could just leave it at this and it's, I really love this. I love this look, but I feel Mexico is a beautifully colorful country. So I want to add some patterns, some Mexican patterns. So I just went to Pinterest. I just typed in Mexican patterns and um, just grabbed some inspiration picks for reference there. Uh, I picked this one. I liked the colors and just the simple flowers and I'm just gonna um, grab a bunch, bunch of pencils and I'm just gonna start drawing. So the colors are the main focus point and just the flowers I saw in the reference pic, I'm gonna start with that. But basically I'm just gonna start doodling and I think this is really one of those trust the process uh, moments where you're like, I'm not sure where this is going. but the more details you add, the more fun it starts to look. So you can see I'm adding like dots, little flowers. I'm going to add kind of droplet shapes and just make sure that you add in every single color, fill in all the empty spots with little shapes, little dots, um, hearts, more flowers, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just trust, this, trust the process and keep going. Um, I really like how, how this turns out. Ooh, the only place we went to besides Tulum was uh, Lake Bacalar, which uh, people describe as the Maldives of Mexico, which I completely understand because the water is just beautiful. It has so many bright shades of blue. I mean, I haven't been to the Maldives, <laughs> but I can imagine that the water is just as beautiful, if not even more beautiful. We really wanted our holiday to be just really relaxed, not travel around too much. But when I discovered Lake Bacalar, I was like, we need to go there. This is just so beautiful. It was a three hour bus drive from Tulum, but so worth it. So, so worth it. I'm so glad we did that. And proud note for me and my fellow gingers, I did not get a sunburn. Woohoo! <laughs> I put on so much sunscreen that day, it was ridiculous, but I think if you can remember my last video about um, Australia, I had such a bad sunburn, I was like, that's not going to happen to me again a day on the water, so hmm. side note. Anyway, I'm, I'm kind of reaching the point where I have no more space on my page 
Every little spot has been filled with doodles. And I think we're about done. I mean, it looks so colorful and I think it kind of has that vibe of Mexico. Um, personally, I feel that way. You can add more color, you can color the background color even. And this is how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this little video exploring Mexico with us. If you do recreate this page, make sure you share it with me on Instagram. You can find my account in the description below. And if you do enjoy these videos, like, subscribe, leave a comment. So um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.